Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE12933 here, and in today's CCNA and NP3 Minute tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the OSPF ABR, and I also want you to watch out for our ASBR video, because these two terms are very important when it comes to OSPF, and they're very important, of course, when it comes to your CCNA and CCNP exams. Now, in, we're going to bring the live equipment up here in just a moment, but here are the two networks that we're working with in both of those videos and this being the area border router discussion we're primarily concerned only with that hub and spoke OSPF network that I already have up and running over the 172.12.123.0 network and this is the diagram for both videos and again since we're talking about the ABR we're primarily concerned only with the OSPF hub and spoke network all three of those routers have their serial zero interfaces in area zero so by definition we don't have any area border routers yet because while all three of these routers do have their interfaces or an interface in area zero they don't they're not connecting another area to the backbone area so let's bring the router up and I'll show you exactly how to verify that we concern ourselves so much with making sure that we've got our neighbor adjacencies and of course we do that with show IP show IP OSPF neighbor that we see that we've got an adjacency here but how can we tell whether router 3 is actually an area border router or not and if you're just sitting down to the router making maybe making a network map you can run show IP OSPF and this gives you a wealth of information and if the router is an ABR or an ASBR you're going to see it near the top of this output but there are no non backbone areas in our network yet so what I'm going to do is actually create one and that's what these loopbacks are so good for we don't have one yet so we'll just configure one that's the joy of loopbacks in our lab is that we can create as many networks as we want so I'm gonna go with the router OSPF command network and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that single address in put all zeros for my wildcard bits and then I'm gonna put these in area 3 so now that I am connecting a non-backbone area to the backbone area on router 3, that makes this an area border router. And again, you can run show IP OSPF, and you're going to see it right here near the top. It is an area border router. Again, if it's not an ABR, it's not going to say this is not an area border router. But if you don't see that line specifically, you know that you're not on an ABR. Now, the ASBR, the Autonomous System Border Router, is another type of OSPF router entirely. And what we're going to do here in the next video in the series is configure Router 3 as an ASBR and do a little route redistribution. So whether you're going after your NA or your NP, you definitely want to check that out. Thanks for watching today's three-minute tutorial. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933.